everybody. Welcome to Poets and Authors Mondays on the Graveyard Verses channel. Tonight's poet is Conrad Aiken. I will be reciting his poem, The Vampire, and I'm going to fill you in on a little bit about Mr. Aiken and his work. But first, if you like this video and the content I provide on here, then I strongly encourage you to hit that subscribe button so you will receive notifications on upcoming videos that I will be posting up in the future. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you very much for watching my videos and subscribing. You definitely help my channel flourish, and I greatly appreciate it. I hope everyone is having a great evening, maxing and relaxing with your favorite beverages, and feet propped up ready to hear about another author and a beautiful dark poem. Conrad Aiken was born in Savannah, Georgia on August 5th. 1889. He was the oldest child of William Ford and Anna Potter. His father was a respected physician and eye doctor, and his mother was the daughter of a Unitarian minister. One day, Aiken, Aiken's father murdered his wife and then committed suicide. Conrad was only 11 years old at the time when he found the bodies of his deceased parents. He and his siblings were then raised by his great aunt and uncle. Later on, he graduated from Harvard University. Symbolism was his strongest influence for the poems he wrote, as well as his grandfather, who was a pastor, and Whitman's freestyle poetry. He received a Pulitzer Prize for poetry for his selected poems and wrote a short story called Silent Snow, Secret Snow that was later published in 1934 that was loosely based on the tragedy he endured in his childhood. Afterwards, he went on to creating multitudes of published work that was poetry, short stories, novels, literary criticism, a play, and an autobiography. Along with receiving the Pulitzer Prize, he was also honored with the National Book Award for Collected Poems and a Bulletin Prize in Poetry, the National Institute of Arts and Letters Gold Medal in Poetry, a National Medal for Literature, and many other awards. Then between 1950 and 1952, he was United States Poet Laureate. On August 17, 1973, in Savannah, Georgia, Conrad Potter Aikens, age 84, passed away. Within the same year, he was given the title Georgia's Poet Laureate. His poem, The Vampire, is basically a parable for the horrors that men do to other men when they are motivated. Here it is, The Vampire, by Conrad Aiken. She rose among us while where we lay. She wept, we put our work away. She chilled our laughter, stilled our play, and spread a silence there. A darkness shot across the sky, and once and twice we heard her cry, and saw her lift white hands on high, and tossed her troubled hair. What shape was this who came to us, with basilic eyes so ominous, mouth so sweet, so poisonous, a tortured hands so pale. We saw her waving to and fro, through dark and wind we saw her go, yet what was her name did not know, and felt our spirits fail. We tried to turn away, but still, above we heard her sorrow thrill, and those that wept they dreamed of ill and dreadful things, of skies grown red with rending flames and shuddering hills that cracked their frames of twilight foul with wings and skeletons dancing to a tune and cries of children stifled soon and over all a bloody red moon a dull and nightmare sighs they woke and sought to go their ways yet everywhere they met her gaze her fixed and burning eyes who are you now we cried to her spirit so strange so sinister we felt dead winds above us stir and in the darkness heard a voice fall singing cloying sweet heavily dropping though that heat heavy as honeyed pulses beat slow words by anguished word and though the night strange music went with voice and cries so darkly blent we could not fathom 
what they meant, save only that they seemed to thin the blood along our veins, foretelling vile, delirious pains, and clouds divulging blood red rains upon a hill undreamed and this we heard who dies for me he shall possess me secretly my terrible beauty he shall see slake my body's flame but who denies me curse shall be a slain and buried both of them so both solemnly and slain and buried both solemnly and slimmed upon with shame and darkness fell and like a sea of stumbling deaths we followed we who dare not stay behind there all night long beneath the cloud we rose and fell we struck and bowed we were ploughman and the ploughed our eyes were red and blind and some they said had touched her side before she fled us there and some had taken her to bride and some lain down for her and died who had not touched her hair ran to and fro and cursed and cried and sought her everywhere her eyes feasted on the dead and small and shapely is her head and dark and small her mouth they said and beautiful to kiss her mouth is sinister and red as blood in the moonlight is the poets forgot their jeweled words and cut the sky with glittering swords and innocent souls turned carrion bird to perch upon the dead sweet daisy fields were drenched with death the air became a charnel breath pale stones were splashed with red green leaves were dappled bright with blood and fruit trees murdered in the bud and when at length the dawn came green as twilight from the east and all the hev heavying horror ceased silent was every bird and beast and that dark voice was gone no word was there no song no bell no furious tongue that dreamed to tell only the dead who rose and fell above the wounded men and whispering and wails of pain blown slowly from the wounded grain blown slowly from the smoking plain and silently fallen again until at dusk from god knows where beneath dark birds that filled the air like one who did not hear or care under a blood-red cloud an aged ploughman came along and drove his shear through flesh and bone and turned them under a mould and stone all night long he ploughed if you made it this far in the video i hope you enjoyed it if you did please hit the like button and subscribe also, don't forget to hit that bell for notifications. Also, I would like to know what your thoughts are about the video you've just seen. Did you like the content? Comment down below and let me know. Until next time, sleep tight and don't let the shadows bite.